So yes, um, when I started as a colorist, of course we didn't have flat panel screens or LCDs or anything like that. We were grading with cathode ray tubes. So when I first started color grading, the grading monitors I used to use were primarily Barco monitors and they were excellent. These were standard definition, either PAL or NTSC, we were feeding to it. And most other facilities seemed to be using Barco at the time. Eventually, we segued over to um, Shibasoku. That was another manufacturer. It was not quite so commonly used. Most other companies were also using Sony monitors as well. When we went to HD, then we went with the larger cathode ray tube Sony HD monitors, which were excellent monitors. Uh, very big, very heavy, but they were excellent monitors and they gave beautiful pictures. The um, videotape formats I was using were primarily 1-inch type C and occasionally 1-inch type B format. Um, when I started color grading, uh, two-inch quadruplex was pretty much on the way out. Uh, we only had it for certain departments for making um, trailers that go to the broadcast stations because a lot of the older broadcast stations were still using two-inch quadruplex tape and especially for their commercial cart machines and um, two-inch was a very uh, nice format of course uh, very difficult to set up and very but you know once you got to know it it was okay but um, I we usually uh, like I said uh, all telecine and color grading was all done on one inch type C or one inch uh, B format. Only did I think maybe one movie on one inch B format. Everything else was on type C. And so we were using the Ampex VPR 2B. And when I moved to another company, we were going to VPR 3s. And then after a while, we went to the Sony uh, one inch type C machines as well. Yes, the difference between a color grading system and a telecine controller is essentially very simple. A color grading machine, such as a, uh, the original DaVinci 888, was a complete color grading system that could have control of a VTR or a telecine could be uh, controlled by it. But all of the internal color grading features or controls were actually situated inside the color grading system. So we weren't actually using any of the circuitry within the telecine for doing color grading. Well, on the other hand, a telecine controller is basically just controlling the color grade functions that were situated inside the film transfer or telecine machine. So basically all he did was remote control those functions and was actually not doing anything within his own circuitry. It was actually all being done within the telecine machine. These were um, units such as the uh, Dubner uh, controller or sometimes we use the ones from Rank Sintel, which was called the Amigo and then we also had the early versions of the Pandora Pogol and then eventually Pandora made their own color grading system which was called the DCP. So when you were using the DCP you were not using the color grading functions within the telecine. Yeah, the first, um, the first Da Vinci color corrector that I ever used was the what they call the 888. This was a standard definition color grading system, and um, that was a there were various configurations of it. Um, the one that the one that I was using was called the one with Control Six, and this had a six machine editor inside so that I could control six VTRs simultaneously plus the telecine machine. So I could do editing, color grading, everything like this. 
and this was a standard definition only, but uh, gave excellent results, and it was a hardware-based color correction system. This differs from the software-based color correction system, whereby if you want to add new features to it, you had to buy different hardware to add those features to the system. Later on, Da Vinci came out with what we call the 2K color corrector, and then eventually the 2K Plus. This was a hardware-based color grading system, and this one uh, was working in high definition. And so this gave you similar functionality that you had in the 888, but now you're working in an HD realm. And it was working with a 2K buffer inside. Eventually what happened was that um, Da Vinci then took on a product which was called Revival, which was for image restoration. Revival was then eventually expanded and included a color correction system and then this system was removed from Revival because Revival was basically a software-based product. So what happened was when they took the software-based color correction system inside of Revival out, it was eventually expanded into what we now know today as Resolve. So there we have it. So for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below and also for um, more tips and tricks videos, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. Think about subscribing, and this way you can be alerted to all the new upcoming videos. And then also perhaps think about becoming a Patreon. There you have a lot of great perks there. We've got a lot of things coming up here. And so there's going to be some live streams coming up. We've got some new additional videos that will be added. And then also as a Patreon member, you've got some additional videos that you don't see on the channel, you will have access to on the Patreon. And this is going to be coming up soon. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day.